All right, I just got an email from somebody, and I'm gonna read through this what he said. I'm just gonna co comment on the topic. It's like UFC possibly being sold. All right, I just wanted to make you aware that the UFC might be soon be sold. It seems now that Rousey and McGregor have clearly lost. They realize the white male demo that built them will decline since the sport is now being more gentrified. Fighting will always be won by the poor, and sadly in America that is blacks and, and Hispanics. An Asian company is ru rumored to be interested in it, but after they make a quick return on investment by putting this in some casinos in Asia for a couple of years, I'm pretty sure Asians will reject it. They are not a violent culture, so we can very soon see the death of the UFC in America and in 20 years worldwide. Americans won't follow a foreign-owned sport nearly as much. The sport was built on white guys who felt disenfranchised since they weren't dominating fighting, boxing. They pretty much wanted to sell it a few years ago but were desperate and tried female fighting. Rousey, a white woman, surprisingly did well and generated them money. McGregor was supposed to be the next Mayweather but got choked out easy so there, there went the cash cow white hope maybe you want to do a story on this um so that's what i'm going to comment on the ufc being sold and then i just potentially being sold and then there's an article that he forwarded me the link to and i can you know put that link in the description of this video you can read the article yourself it's a rumor nothing is um been officially stated as far as what the article is saying but just based on that rumor alone based on what the article said they said that years ago i, I, I don't know how you guys you say these guys names the owners i think they, they're the fratillo brothers or something and then they're like the they, they said something like they own like 40 percent of the company and that 10 percent is owned by like maybe um donna white Dana White, whatever whatever his name is, and then the rest is owned by other corporations or whatnot. Um, they said that what was very interesting was they said that these Fertillo brothers bought the company for only like two million dollars, and then now they're saying that it's worth about six billion dollars. So their return on investment has been, you know, has been amazing. So they've made a lot of money, you know, just imagine two million turning to two, you know, to six billion. And then they said they potentially is rumored that they might be selling it for four billion. Okay, so, you know, it just shows like business wise how these people just went in there, got their money, you know, and then looking for the right time to get out and then pull them, you know, now they're good. It's kind of like Mayweather, you know, boxing to make that money and then retiring. I'm good now, I got my money. But then now he might come back, potentially the fight to McGregor to make some more money before he just comes out. And um, these people are smart business people. You know, when you got somebody, when you got a group of people that's able to turn $2 million to, to $6 billion. That's some serious money right there. You know, some serious business smarts. You know, very intelligent as far as business is concerned. And it's all about the business for these people. And I see it. I saw it all from the beginning. I know this stuff is not real. I know this stuff is fake. I know this stuff is just a fad. I know that it's not real martial arts. I know that it's just entertainment you know and people think that oh this is the real stuff this is the real martial artists and this is real talent no this is just this is entertainment to me it's just it's just like another wrestlemania is they're entertaining people feeding into people's base desires of violence and uh profiting off of you know stupidity of the people you know and um like to me it's a fad just like things that come and go 
and I know it's gonna it's gonna eventually go. It's just a wave. It's just popular, and then it's gonna decline. It's, 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 they're gonna the people are gonna seek for something new, something where another way of making money, and um, like I liken it to Bruce Lee when he was acting, even when he was living before he died. You know, he said, "I'm gonna have to find something else." you know, some other thing, to, you know, some other movies to act in because it's only a matter of time the martial arts is going to die out and people aren't, you know, it's not going to grasp the people's attention anymore. They're going to have to, he's going to have to get into something else and that's exactly what happened. You know what I mean? Like, Bruce Lee ex displayed the martial arts in, on film during a time where people didn't really know much about the Chinese martial arts and it was really exciting and new for them. but that time passed long ago and um, people aren't really appreciating that type of expression in martial art films. So then right after him, what gr grasped people's attention was Jackie Chan with the stunts. It wasn't martial arts anymore, it was just stunts. It was more like him putting his life on the line, doing these crazy stunts, like getting all his, his bones all over his body broken and um, jumping from building to building and you know just doing some crazy things to grasp the audience attention to make money and then that became the in thing you know and um, then that took off and that's kinda like the same route that Tony Ja went with his stunts you know it's just a, a, a different Jackie Chan Tony Ja you know different type of stunts but you notice that even to this day the only um, martial art movies like that like Tony Ja type things and like movies like The Raid they're only coming out of countries like Thailand and um, these foreign countries that where they're, they're like dirt poor where they can't really afford the, 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 the technology that America can so their movies are more like less stunt doubles, less computers, more like raw. So that'd be like a Tony Ja Thai movie where it's like actually him doing the stunts and things like that. But nowadays, they don't need stunt doubles. They don't need people, you know, stunt doubles anymore. Back in Bruce Lee's time, it's like martial arts was able to grasp people's attention. Then that faded away, and then it became the stunt person that grasped people's attention. Now the stunt people are fading away, and it's the computers that are grasping the people's attentions. And then now it's like comic book heroes, where it's completely into the fantasy. Back then, Bruce Lee was supposed to be the more like the human superhero, an, in human form. But nowadays, it's like, it's the real fantasy superhero, like the Batman, the Spider-Man, and then the movie that that my wife wanted me to watch, the Deadpool, the X-Men. These are all like superhero comic book people, Captain America, and that's what everybody's into. Like comic books, fantasy, um, you know, they're not into the reality, they're into fantasy. They're into people that could dodge bullets, people, you know, because even before the, the, the comic book fantasy and all that, it was like Matrix where it's like, you know, that, that you know, where it's like a human being that has special powers, but then he's still not a fantasy figure. But, you know, th this is where the society is right now, where it's fantasy, you know, and the computers are doing all the work. You don't need a stunt double anymore. You don't need somebody to jump off a building and break his bones. You just have the computer do it. You know what I mean? Like, Tony Ja is getting more famous, more well-known. He doesn't really have to do his own stunts anymore. You know, like, instead of making a movie in Thailand for, like, a few thousand dollars and then put his life at risk for, you know, hurting himself, he just goes to Hollywood plays a extra role 
makes a few million dollars, not a few thousand, but a few million, and then he doesn't have to do any stunts anymore. He doesn't have to take the risks anymore. I mean, it's just a smarter decision on his part to not put his life in danger to make way more money and doing less work. That's what the American way is all about. So America's not about displaying like real talent, real skill, um, things like that. They're about making money in the easiest way possible. So if you could have somebody star, a big name person star in a movie, you know, like Angelina Jolie or whatnot, and just throw a nice costume on her. She doesn't have to know any martial arts. She'll just have, um, they'll just have the computers do all the work. And she'll make all the money, and the people watch the movie, they like the movie, and then the money, the movie makes money. I mean, that's where it is right now. Like, Bruce Lee's time has died a long time ago. So we back to the context of the, of the UFC. This type of stuff is just a fad. It's going to pass just like everything else. Like, it's popular back then. It might be popular now, but it's losing its popularity. They don't have any, like what this person said, any cash cows anymore. And it's going to be less and less. Like back then in boxing, the cash cow mainly was, first it was like Muhammad Ali. You know, if you see those boxing videos back in the past, it was just amazing how many followers he had. And he'd go to like Africa and he'll go to these different countries and people, like thousands of people would be like, cheering and, and just you know just amazed to see his presence but you don't get that nowadays like that it's not like that anymore you know it hasn't been like that in a long time it's like just like back then it used to be like dr martin Luther king jr making a speech and then there's like thousands of people surrounded listening to him but it's not like that anymore not as far as like any leader on a political level that could you know you know, like that, that even resembled Martin Luther King Jr. What you see people coming together for is not for like protesting war, like back in John Lennon's time when he's like protesting the war, you know, or not like protesting against racism like Malcolm X and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Now people are coming together to watch things like Beyonce, you know, and, and like Katy Perry or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what people are coming together for. It's not for like, something significant you know that's significant to impact society you know and like people you know with this whole ufc thing like oh yeah with the boxing it's just kind of like you know and then after muhammad ali the, the main boxer that was generating a lot of income back then was uh, mike tyson you know and and then he you know then his time passed and then now it's mainly like Mayweather, you know, it's Pacquiao too. But even in boxing, there's not that many big name people that are bringing in lots of money. And with the UFC, they, they'll grasp onto whoever they can for the moment to make money. But the nature of the UFC and the rules, the design of the rules does not allow for fighters to develop any type of... Um, winning streak that's going to have any sort of relevancy or, or, or basically highlight anybody's skills and, and attributes. Because with boxing, Mayweather, he's a big name because he won 49 wins in a row. He hasn't lost. But you don't get something like that with UFC. Like, it's a big deal for somebody just to win five times in a row, you know? Like, you know, Ronda Rousey won 10 against a woman. And then they made a big deal out of that. And it's just like... 10 wins is nothing, especially when it's against other women. And who are these women? Like, nobody's too. It's like no competition. It's like making a big deal out of some basketball team that won 10 games in a row in junior high. That's not a big deal. But then when you got, like, something, like, on a professional level, like the Golden State Warriors winning all these games, being, you know, whatever, like, However, they, however many they won, 69 and whatever, like, that is the big deal. You know, so the UFC, it's like they have less people to make money from. You know, and, and it's starting to see that 
the popularity is going to start fading. And once the popularity starts fading, that's when the owners know to step out. So then to cash out, sell the company while it's successful. So then get it out of your hands and let somebody else deal with it. You know, and um, like that's a smart thing for them to do. And like I see that it's going to pass. Just like right now, WrestleMania, I don't know that much about it, but it doesn't seem like it's that popular as it used to be. Like back in Hulk Hogan's time or whatnot. And people's interests just shift. You know, it shifts from Bruce Lee to Jackie Chan, stunt type things. And then now to like Marvel heroes and superheroes and fantasy. You know, computers. And then WrestleMania just basically got converted to UFC. And then, you know, that now it could, you know, it could go back to boxing or I don't know, they might come up with something else or all the fans just go back to football, you know, go back to WrestleMania, things like that, you know.